Hi everyone, welcome back to another session of Web Technologies. In this session, I'm going to discuss a lab experiment, which is week two experiment. In continuation with week one experiment, in the previous experiment, we have designed a web uh, online uh, web application in which we have designed certain uh, HTML pages like the department HTML and then the um, home HTML and then we have also designed the login HTML and then the catalog HTML. In today's class, we'll be actually designing the cart page and also the registration page. So the cart page contains the details about the books which are added to the cart and the cart page should look something like this. Okay, so inside the cart page, like you should be having the book name okay so book name and then the price and then the quantity of the book how many books you require and then the total okay so the amount yeah so, so here like we have ordered for two books so two into 35 is 70 rupees so this should come over here so this should be a, a operation over here which is multiplication between these two which we will be doing within the cost of page and also, we need to multiply the price and the quantity, and the result should appear here in the amount. And then in the total amount, there should be an add operation between all the um, amounts that have been uh, here. Okay, fine. So this is regarding the card page. Now coming to the next page that we need to define. The next page is the registration page. So the registration page uh, is a form. Uh, which should contain following fields. The first one is the name. So the name should be a text field. And then the password. Password should be a password field. And then email, which should be a text field. And then the phone number, which should be a text field. And then the gender, which should be a radio button. And then the date of birth, which should be... Um, I'll give you the type is uh, date. And also we can use select and options to actually create this uh, calendar. And then next one is the languages. So for uh, presenting the languages note, we'll be using a checkbox. And then for typing in the address, we'll be giving a text area. And finally, this since this is a registration form, there will be a submit and the report button. So let us get started. So we need to create two pages. One is the card page and the other one is the registration page. So let us get started. So this is actually the our online bookstore so i have already shown you this link okay so as i click on the home page so this is the welcome message that appears and then this is the login page i have shown you this yesterday and also we have seen the catalog so this is the cover page of the book and then the uh info regarding the book the name title and the publisher details and then the price of the book and then we'll have add to cart button over here so this is the catalog page so login and catalog we have completed in week one. And today's class will be looking into uh, this one. Okay. So as I click on CSC, so CSC related CSC specific books will appear here in the right frame. And as I click on IT, IT related books will appear. Okay. So ECE, ECE related books and civil, civil related books will appear in the right frame. So this is specific, okay? So specific books will appear here. Now, when I click on catalog, catalog is the overall books, okay? So all the books that are present in the online bookstore will appear in the catalog. But here, when I click on CSC, only books that are related to CSC will appear here, okay? So that's the difference between catalog and then this individual CSC, IT, EC, and civil, and so on, okay? So this is what I'm going to show you again. So as I click on CSC, so how this appears, I'll show you this uh, HTML document as well. And then as I click on registration, so this is what you need to do today. So as I click on the registration page, so this is how it appears, the registration page. Uh, so then the name, password, email ID, phone number, and then the gender, which is a radio button. And all these are the text fields except for the password field. And then coming to the date of birth. So I have, I have, I'm showing you here two ways of creating this date of birth. So that's why two appeared here. Okay. You can use uh, any one of this. Um, now coming to the first one, first one, uh, wherein I have used the select and the uh, uh, option uh, 
uh, tag. Uh, in the second one, I have used the input type is equal to date. Okay, so here in specifically, we need to enter all the 1 to 31 in the options and in the same way, like in the month and in the year as well. Okay, but here in date of birth, like uh, I'll be getting a calendar wherein you can move up and down the year and the month and so on. Okay, fine. Uh, so this is the uh, so I'm clicking on clear so it goes off. Okay, so then these are the check boxes uh, for the languages and this is the text area and finally we have a submit and the reset button. Okay, and uh, for the submit as well, like um, in, I, I have given Sudha over here, but I didn't fill the other fields like um, password, email and so on. But as I click on submit, it will tell fill you please fill out this thing. Okay, so some fields we have made mandatory. I'll show all that in the code. And reset will actually take off all the contents that are there in the form and uh, keep the form new for us uh, for entry. So this is the, regarding the uh, registration form. And uh, this is what we are going to design today. And the next one is the cart. Uh, so this is how the cart looks. Wherein like there is book name, price, quantity, and amount. So this is a static page actually. So we haven't added any dynamism to it. Uh, so we have to enter the name of the book over here. So say for example, the name of the book is Java and the price of uh, Java book is 500 and the quantity is like say I want three Java books. Okay. And when I hover my mouse on this particular area and click on poker, Okay, so this is the place where like it needs to give me the amount price into quantity 500 into 3. So when I click in this particular box, then I'll be able to see the amount. Okay, so which is 1500. In the same way, I'm saying I want C book and the price of the C book is say, for example, it is 345 and I want 5 C books. Okay, and uh, when I bring my mouse and click here in the box only, then I'll be able to get the amount. And when I click on the total amount box over here, then I'll be getting the total. Okay, sum of these two over there. So this is regarding the card. Uh, so let us get started. Let me show you the codes for uh, registration uh, card and then uh, for the CSE ID and EC and civil specific HTML codes. Okay, and this is a folder that I have created for week two. So this is week two. As I go into the folder, so you can see these are all the uh jpeg files that are required for the for the creation of the website and then these are the html documents okay so these are all the html documents as i click on this form okay so this is the first html document that i need to launch and from this like i'll be able to navigate to the other link okay uh, so the first thing that I would like to show you is the departments, uh, which I already have shown you yesterday. So here in the departments, you can see that there is a hyperlink over here. Um, so which is anchor tag, uh, which is hyperlink, wherein as I click on this particular CSE uh, hyperlink, what it should do is it should uh, take me to the uh, uh, catalog of the csu.html document and uh, the the content should launch in the right frame. Okay, so this is uh, what we have written in the DEPT. Now let me show you that catalog um, underscore csu. Okay, so this is the catalog under csu. So inside the catalog under csu, all the specific books related to the csu will be there. Okay, so wherein I have created a table. And then inside the table, there is a table row. Inside this particular table row, so I am deciding on the number of columns. So the first one is the name of the book and um, the car page of the book. First uh, uh, column will occupy the car page. And the second column will occupy the uh, description of the book. And then next it will occupy the price of the book. And finally, we'll have a submit button. Or we'll have a add to the card button. Uh, in the same way, I am. I have created one more row, and then I have added another book which is specific to the CSA. Okay, so this is what um, I have done in uh, um, catalog underscore CSA. So in the same way, uh, we'll be creating it for EC. So here the catalog uh -huh. under EC will be having EC specific books. Okay, so this is the catalog under EC. So in the same way, we have catalog underscore IT. 
so which will show specific books related to it okay so in the same way we have catalog underscore civil which will have the books related to the civil students okay right uh fine uh, so this is regarding the catalogs or uh, specific catalogs and then let me show you the registration form okay so this is the registration form and i'll explain you the code that i have written uh, so this is the html tag in which i have the head tag and the title is the registration page and then here i am um, putting the contents in the center and uh, i have written now heading which is registration page and then i um, then we have a table okay i created a table um so inside the table like i'm creating the form and i have set the background color of the form to be yellow and also i have kept the font family to be vertana you can also have clear new and all that so all the fonts that are available in html you can use them so i have used vertana and then um, uh, i have entered uh, the name okay and uh, the name is of type text okay and you can see one point over here which is required so this is by giving required attribute over here so what i'm doing is i am actually um, i'm making uh, um, filling up this particular uh, information to be mandatory so in the same way password also i made it as required and it is mandatory um, before submitting it is mandatory that the user gives the password in the same way you may so the type is text and the, for the password the type is password and then for the phone number the type is text and then you can see for the gender the type is radio okay and then now um, uh, uh coming to the date of birth what i have done here is uh, i have taken the select tag and i said uh, name is equal to day and i have taken it in the options and i have given all the 31 days over here okay and then i close the select tag in the same way i have taken uh, another select tag and it said name is equal to month and i have given all the options in the select okay so from all the 12 months and then coming to the year and i have started the year so from 1986 and i have given till uh, 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 this year okay uh, so this is actually tedious to perform. So I am showing you another way of to actually create the calendar. So to create the calendar, I said uh, I have taken one more row and I said uh, the uh, label is date of birth. And then I simply said input type is equal to date. Okay, when I say input type is equal to date, the calendar will appear for us. Okay, so rather than doing all that, you can actually simply do it in one line over here but uh, since we need to learn about selecting options i have done that and the next one is i need to give the check boxes for the languages uh, selection so this is how we set type is equal to check box. and then coming to giving the address uh, we have uh, taken a tag which is text area and then this is the closing tag of the text area and we are mentioning what are the rows and columns that are required for entering the address okay fine and mbsc is um, not break or space okay so not break space is uh, where i don't want uh, to go to the new line but i want spaces in different so between submit and reset are in the same row but then i want some space between the submit and reset so that's why i have given spaces over here how many spaces i want i have given that many spaces um nbsp over here so i close the row and table and form and then all the tags required tags i have closed so this is the registration dot uh, html so let me show you the card uh, um dot html uh, so this is the the card dot html um so let me go to the html first and then i'll go to the uh, javascript okay fine um so this is uh, the form we have created a form so the form will be having the book name price quantity and amount and then the type is text right so i need to enter so i have entered java and all that uh, so this is what we have done and then i click on the amount okay so this is what i have done this is on focus on focus is when i click in that particular text field i am calling a function which is one okay so this is a function which is one so it goes to the one function so you can see here script the script is for the javascript and the name of that is function one so
So inside the function one, I'm taking the price of the book in A variable and I'm taking the quantity in B variable. And then we are actually uh, finding the product of A into B and we are putting it in the amount. Okay, so that's what I have done. In the same way, um, we have another uh, row, right? In that row, I'm saying on focus is equal to two. So it goes into the function two and then it does the same thing. It will take the um, amount and then it will take the quantity and then it will do the um, price of the book and then the number of books required and it will do create the product and put it in the amount. Next is the add function. Add function will actually take these two values and perform an addition between these two things. Okay, all the amounts it will take and do that. Okay, so it's that's it, and then finally we'll be closing the script back. So this is your um, um cart dot html. Okay, so this is the cart dot html. So I hope uh, um everybody understood how to create the registration dot html and cart dot html. Uh, so that's it. The rest of the html documents I already have shown you. Um. So I hope this video is helpful for you. Thank you for watching.